Hello everybody, I hope you had such a wonderful half term, you really enjoyed the beautiful weather. It's put me in a very summery mood and I've decided to base all of the songs over the next half term on the theme of summer. Now the song I've decided to start with is George Ezra's Shotgun. And the reason I've chosen this song is because when I close my eyes and I listen to the words of this song, it has such amazing imagery. I can really picture the mountains and the sea and the beaches and imagine that I'm driving down with the, with the windows open and I'm feeling the breeze on my face and I just associate this song with summer. And I know it's a song that lots of you really enjoy too. So I hope that you do enjoy this song. For some of you, you might be thinking, oh, I know this song. I, why do I need to relearn it again? I already know the song. Well, actually, you'd be very surprised that quite often, even if you think you know a song really, really well, you might get things wrong. So you might make mistakes in the rhythm of some of the words or the melody. And it's very important when we're singing all together that we're singing the same thing at the same time. Otherwise, it sounds very, very messy. I'm also going to be teaching you some Makaton sign language. And we're going to talk about the performance of the song as well. So even if you think you know the song, please watch the whole video because it will make our performance as a whole school so much better when we finally get to sing it all together. So get the words ready. And I'll see you, well, I'm here. <laughs> when you're ready, well, let's start. Okay, so the first words are homegrown alligator, see you later. Let's go through the rhythm of the words very quickly. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Try that for me after four. One, two, three. Four, homegrown alligator, see you later. Very good. Now there's a couple of things to mention before we start learning the tune. The first one is George Ezra, he it sings this song in quite a punchy way. He really attacks the words. So we're going to put stresses or accents on certain words. Now when I say accent, I don't mean try and put on an accent like a Scottish accent. It's a musical word for when you put when you make one um, note a bit louder or you, you make it more powerful than the others. So when he says it, he says homegrown alligator, see you later. So he kind of stresses certain words and that's going to add to our performance as well. So the tune for that bit, nice and simple. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Try that for me after four. One, two, get ready, go. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Super. The second thing I would like to mention is you might have noticed when I, when I sang then, I really emphasised the T's and, and you could hear the words very clearly. Now, it can be quite tempting to drop your T's, and that's when you say things like homegrown alligator, see you late, later. But the trouble is, if you do that, when you're singing in a big group of people, if everybody does that, you won't hear a single word that they say. You, It's, it's almost incredible. You have to make sure that you almost over-pronounce your T's so that people can hear the words because otherwise it's very, very, very difficult to actually understand what, what a choir or a group of people are saying if they don't overpronounce their T's like I was doing. So let's have a go at doing that and then we're going to go on to the second part. So, let's up straight after four. One, two, get ready. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Good. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Now, the first part, you might have noticed, he doesn't sing it straight, like, I'm going to hit the road. He goes, road. There's three notes. Road. So can you try that for me now? Road. Very good. The second bit is hard because it's much lower. I'm going to hit the road. Now, I find it low to sing, so I imagine some of you will too. 
So what I'm doing to help me is I'm trying to really dig in deep for my diaphragm. Remember we talked about the diaphragm, which is underneath your rib cage. So when you're breathing, really, really try and breathe from there. Try and use your chest voice and don't raise your shoulders. It can be quite hard, so don't worry if you find that a bit low. It is a man, um, an adult man singing and he has got a very low voice. Let's just try, got to hit the road, got to hit the road. This time after three, come in. One, two, three. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Very good. Super, you're doing such a brilliant job. Let's try from the beginning up until the end part. After four, sit up straight. One, two, get ready, go. Home run alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Perfect. Now the second part of the verse, it changes. He somehow fits in an awful lot of words into a tiny little space. It's almost like a tongue twister. The sun it changed in the atmosphere. The sun it changed in the atmosphere. Try that for me now after four. One, two, get ready, go. The sun it changed in the atmosphere. Perfect. The next part, architecture unfamiliar. Listen again, architecture unfamiliar. Now he stresses those words, architecture unfamiliar. And the tune for this, uh, let's go for the tune for the sun it changed in the atmosphere first, because it is different. The sun it changed in the atmosphere, the sun it changed in the atmosphere. Your turn, after four, one, two, get ready, go. The sun it changed in the atmosphere. Very good. Next part, architecture unfamiliar. Architecture unfamiliar. So you're almost repeating it twice and you're sing you're starting on the same note for R and for un. Architecture unfamiliar. Your turn after four. One, two, get ready, go. Architecture unfamiliar. Perfect. Let's try from the sun it changed in the atmosphere. Remember to sit up straight, sing with lots of energy and attack those notes. One, two, get ready, go. The sun it changed in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. Very good. And the last bit is everyone's favorite bit, and it's where he goes very, very high with his voice. And it's almost like you're going, whoops. So try and go, whoops, for me now. Whoops. So it's, it's almost effortless the way he sings it. He doesn't really try and, and go for that note. His voice kind of gently reaches it, almost like it's a woo sound. The hard bit about this is the intervals. Now we've spoken about intervals before. Just to remind you, intervals are where there are two notes and it's the jumps between the notes. So they can be very close together like this. La, 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 la. They're very close, do you hear? Or they can be very big jumps. La, 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 la. So the intervals, big intervals, are harder to sing sometimes than, than um, smaller intervals. And this is quite a big interval. So he goes, I could get used to this. Okay. I could get used to this. Sometimes people find it hard to get back down to the, I could get used to this. Getting up is okay, but coming back down again, that can be hard to find that note. So try and concentrate and see if you can get that, that end note. I can get used to this. It's tricky. Let's have a go from the sun it changed. After four, one, two, get ready, go. The sun it changed in the atmosphere, architecture Absolutely brilliant. Before we stop this video, let's have a go at the whole verse all the way through. Homegrown alligator. So straight after four. One, two, get ready, go. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Sun it changed in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I could get used to this. 
raring to sing the next bit now. So meet me in the second video and I will teach you the bridge with some Makaton sign language. Well done, really good job.